This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Quaffers, Guzzlers, Swiggers, Sippers, and all other good people out there. Hopswatch here, and today we are having. Oh, jumping right into it this time. Uh, this beer is the other beer that uh, Niche sent me some time ago. You might remember the first one being an IPA, so this is something completely different. It's a Russian Imperial Stout, considerably stronger and much darker. So I've had it out of the fridge for some time, um, as dark beers and stronger beers are better enjoyed at some temperature. As dark beers and stronger beers are better enjoyed at some temperature. The exception to that rule would be Belgian Triple Blancs. They should always be drunk at as close to freezing point as you can get them. But then again, Belgian Triple Blancs could hardly be enjoyed like ever. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to uh, have a Triple Blanc just so that I can rant about it. Now, from Astoria with love, and it's complete with a Babushka doll on the front. I've got my own. And this one originally belonged to my ex-wife, I think. But I guess she said I could have it when we got divorced. And this one I bought in Moscow in February of 1994. But that was a very interesting trip. Also very, very cold. It was in, in midwinter. Um, so there's Yeltsin. It's that old. Putin wasn't really part of the picture yet at that time and inside of him we've got Mikhail Gorbachev he's still alive and inside of him we've got Yernit Brezhnev and inside of him we've got Joseph Stalin out of Joseph Stalin, we've got Lenin. So they uh, they skipped a few. They skipped Khrushchev. They skipped all those that came between Brezhnev and uh, Gorbachev. They were there were three or four. Didn't Ronald Reagan say something to the effect uh, that how can I get to negotiate with these guys when they keep dying for me? Stalin goes into Brezhnev, Brezhnev goes into Gorbachev, and Gorbachev goes into Yeltsin. And yes, I intentionally say that to be cringy. So, on to the beer. About this beer, Nitsch writes in her letter, a fine letter that she sent me, says, Good morning, Hopswatch. Nietzsche's program on YouTube is called Morning Beer. That's why she says, good morning. It says, <clears throat> Fort George, it's, that's a brewery, is based in Astoria, Oregon, and pretty much everything they do is perfection. Hopefully you enjoy these very Oregon, very much loved brews. Best regards, Nietzsche. It also says on the beer, distributed only in the Pacific Northwest. So this would be uh, a very local beer, some very local stuff uh, that I can only taste because Niche was so kind to send me one of those. So once again, thank you very much for this beer, Niche. It's a great honor to, uh, to uh, receive these beers and to be mentioned on your channel. So, on to the tasting. Way. So some very woody notes there. Well, this is very dark stuff. And there's not much foam, which is typical of Russian Imperial Stouts. They don't produce so much foam and 
They are, however, very, very dark and very rich and very thick in the composure. I'll just get a match. I love doing this trick with, um, with dark beers. See if you can. And I can see absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing through this brew. This is some serious stuff. Absolutely nothing that that can go through this pitch black darkness. Some very dark and hardwood, combined with some kind of liquor. Also, there's some licorice notes, which is hardly unusual. Uh, some spiced schnapps, spiced liquor, cognac maybe, more like whiskey I'd actually say. So. Um, peated whiskey, peated whiskey with uh, with some extra wood in it. Mm. Rather than being bitter and, and heavy, Russian Imperial Stouts are known to be more sweet and, and lighter in the expression. This one is, uh, however, relatively heavy, but it's still on, on the sweeter side. There are some notes of sweet licorice. Mm. You have to resist the urge to chew this beer as, as it's, it's very, very thick and very, very rich. Oh! And you really want to, to take your time with this. This is beer definitely for sipping. You don't want to swig this or even quaff this. That would be a darn shame. As there's so much taste and so much aroma in each little mouthful. So primarily licorice mixed with some dark cho chocolate. Also a bit of liquor. This actually reminds me of that Spanish stuff that I, uh, I got from my dad's house, house when he moved out. Uh, just a sec, I'll just get it. Calvados. Obviously um, some apple liquor from France. So um, this beer has a bit of an impression of this, uh, along with the licorice and, and the chocolate. It's also a rather friendly beer. I mean, you can... That's another way you can feel that this is a Russian Imperial Stout and uh, not uh, an Imperial Porter. Uh, in the British tradition, they will be very bitter and very aggressive to the palate. This is, this is very smooth, actually. And sometimes Russian Imperial Stouts can, can be too light, too smooth, and this is definitely not the case with this one, without being uh, overtly aggressive, it still has an in character, just in a different way. It uh, it's it's so friendly, it's it's almost overwhelming. So it's, it's just giving you a, a big a big hug of sweet licorice and chocolate and uh, calvados mixed in just the right proportions. So rating this beer, uh, I'll give it a five and a half. This is. Um, world-class uh, Russian Imperial style and what I particularly like about it is that it, it's not getting too light and it's not getting too sweet but it definitely has all the friend friendly friendliness that characterizes the type so uh, five and a half for this one out of six so uh, that'll be it for the beer uh, just a few announcements I will be at the Copenhagen Beer Festival this Saturday the 20th in Copenhagen West. Also I will be at the Danish Beer Enthusiasts Beer Festival the 23rd through 25th of May. Also I'll be at the Beer Festival near Elsinore in, at the Monastery of Eschum on the 4th of May. So there's really nothing more to say than um, follow me on Twitter 
Facebook, Untapped, YouTube, and my Danish blog. Always remember to drink responsibly. Until next time, cheers. Am I recording? Oh goodness, I am.